All right, guys, we are back again with another episode of Mashoku Tensai. We have episode 10 here up and ready to go. So last episode, we met up with Mr. Rui Jerd, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right. I didn't really, I, I feel like I said I was going to try to get it. I didn't actually do any research or anything. So I think it's Rui Jerd. I'll try to listen to see if it actually, like, if I can hear the pronunciation, but... No, he seems like an awesome character. I'm really looking forward to kind of seeing him in action, like in a fight scene, because being a superb, you kind of automatically think he'll be like a badass at fighting. And I feel like that's probably going to be the case with him. So I'm hoping we get some action with him. And we did see him like already killing a monster last episode. So he's obviously, he can handle himself pretty well. And I imagine we're going to get quite a few action sequences coming up just since, you know, we're in the Demon Continent. There's not everyone's friendly around here, I don't think. So <laughs> I think I'll just hop right into the episode and see what happens. So let's go. Oh, jeez. Yep. <laughs> Hopping literally right into it. Nah, she's like, it's all mine. <laughs> It's farming all the XP. Oh. Well, I ain't like this. You know what? I respect it. You almost would think that they would go with the whole trope of, like, Eris would need protecting and, you know, Rudy would help with that. And obviously, Rui Jert around also, you know, they'd be able to handle themselves like that. And Eris would kind of be in the backseat. But no, she's straight up. She's like, I'm good. Like, I'm, I've got that sword training. I'm not sitting back. I'm not going to be scared of any of these creatures. I'm just going right in and God, <laughs> kills like 20 wolves right off the bat. Dead end's been sighted. Yeah, who's dead end? Is that a person? Where people, hey, chill. Yeah, quiet. <laughs> just straight up. Hey, man, look at all those freaks over there. Oh, him? Oh. Well, that makes things complicated. <laughs> I can leap over. He's like, you guys head in. I'll meet you in there. They're gonna try to dress him up. Oh, are they gonna, like, color his hair or something? Hmm, <laughs> okay. Demons are living it up in here. Holy. Man, they got some... Oh, that's actually, like, badass. Oh, he's <laughs> trying to treat her nice. Man's like, damn, this, <laughs> this girl gonna drain me. <laughs> it's like, we ain't gonna be able to eat tonight. Gotta go back for more wolf. Adventurer's Guild. Always an Adventurer's Guild around here, like in these worlds. Oh, the blue hair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, seems like a nice party. <laughs> I hope all of them are just like, man, you look like a twerp. <laughs> the devil of the super dread. Oh, making him like the antithesis. Oh no, they're actually telling, they're saying who he is? Oh, are they going to be like, no, he's not. He has green hair. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're like, you moron, can't even get the hair right. <laughs> Super NMD, <Junior>. yeah. <laughs> you did way too good of a job on the disguise, Rudy, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, like, what's, I guess they're just going for the intimidation factor, but what's the point in sneaking him in? He didn't want to cause a panic when he's literally going in and being like, hey, look, it's it's the guy you people are terrified of. It's Rui Zhurn. Oh, or was it a test? Because Rudy seemed happy. Maybe he was just testing it. Like, oh yeah, no, we're fine. <laughs> Everyone's still laughing in the back. Oh. Oh, he's getting pissed. He's like, why is everyone laughing at us? Oh, man. Is Rui Zerd... Oh, man looks mad, dude. Is he just gonna, like... He's gonna make an example of somebody. What? You, you frog ass bitch? Like, what you think you're doing? You think you're better than me? Yeah. Oh, it's like, you can tell, man. 
It's like, yeah, you really want to fuck with me. That's right. Stand down, bitch. Oh, that's awesome. That frog is the only one who knows what's up. He's just like, oh, shit. Like, I was about to die. <laughs> one more second and my foot would be off. Like, just gone. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it's kind of a weird... Like, either he was testing it to be sure that, like, his disguise actually works well, or maybe... But also, maybe on top of it, he wants to make the name of Dead End not so terrifying. Like, we saw with that guy in the line at the beginning, he was like... As soon as he heard the name Dead End, he just flipped. He was like, oh, shit, Dead End's around here? Like, what the fuck? And no, maybe he's just trying to get that s sort of stigma out of there, like... Hmm. What's up with him? I don't know. I feel like there's something going on with Ruiz here. He just seems a little bit... Like, he already seemed reserved. And we only have only known him for, like, an episode. But he seems kind of, like, I don't know, withdrawn? Yeah. Eddie's just like... Yeah. He's like, I don't understand you. No, Eddie's don't just be causing fights and shit. No! Don't just be fighting people! Oh my god! You! Yo! That was fucked up! Was that girl, like, hold on, was that girl even being mean? Like, I thought she was just asking them to eat with her. Like, obviously, Eddie doesn't understand, but... Why is she treating them with such hostility? Yeah, you're a new adventurer. So are we? Yeah, they were just newbies too! Yo, that feels awful! I understand, like, it's a misunderstanding, and it's kind of nice that Eddie cares that much about a piece of clothing from Rudy, but holy fuck, she has anger issues. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, just because, oh my god, man. Wow! That just came out of fucking nowhere. What the hell, Eddie's? Get some therapy. Yeah, and it's like, the girl didn't even do anything to break it. Like, you broke it yourself. At least Rudy's, like, healing them up, right? Because that's the least. Yeah, like, she's straight up beating her down. And these guys are just watching. Like, that's their first day as adventurers. And they're getting fucking beat already. Dead end. They're like, that's a weird, that's a weird sense of humor. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. At least, like, at least there's some friendly people. Toku, Toku Tufts. We'll, we'll keep that name in mind. I'm sure you'll be big someday. But at least she was cool about it. Like, she straight, she even asked if, like, Eddie's and Rudy both wanted to join their party. Like, she was forgiving, at least, but... Because I was, if I was in her shoes, bro, bro, Eddie's would be my nemesis for life after that. It's like, just because you don't understand my language and you break your own coat, you start kicking in my lungs? Like, oh man, I'd be so pissed. If I wasn't dead, I'd be so pissed. But man, at least she's nice. I hope, you know, there's almost vibes of like, those are characters that, like, we met, they're nice, and then maybe they're going to get, like, killed or something immediately. I kind of have that vibe. Maybe, maybe not. Like, I'm hoping not. They seem cool. Yeah. Man's going, man's just going through life right now. <laughs> it's depressing, man. You got to make the money. You got to work. It sucks. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> oh, this guy again? Man's just dropping it like I'm trying to sleep, man. I'm trying to rest. Set that job. Okay. I mean, your words would be at an Okay, maybe it's, you know, whoever put out that job is going to help him out, maybe? Like, okay. I mean, I was hoping they'd take that job anyway. Like, that kitten, man. Imagine, imagine a kitten being lost in a demon city, man. That's got to be terrifying, dude. I feel bad for that little guy. There you go. I think so. As long as you don't make enemies of every single person that does you an inconvenience. Signs of a struggle. <laughs> like, what? What? The cat got into a fight? What kind of cats do they got down here? Is it going to be a normal cat? 
Or is it gonna be like a freaking tiger? Kokodo. Yeah, that does not sound like a normal kitten. Is that, yeah. <laughs> That's about exactly what I expected. Yeah, someone's stealing pets? Yeah, okay, getting right into it. Not even let, not even, I thought we were gonna wait and see what they were up to, but no, just straight up, ooh. <laughs> yeah, first teamwork, let's go. Oh, Rui's, damn it, damn it. Even just a smile on Rui's ear is just getting, making me happy, man. Like this man, for some reason, I feel like Ruizer doesn't get a whole lot of happiness in his life. I don't know, man just gives off that vibe. <laughs> so I'm glad that this man, he might actually be like, hell, these might be some of his first, you know, friends that he's made in a long time. He kind of reminds me, like, obviously a lot of you probably won't get this reference, but in my other series is Kuroko that I'm watching, Kuroko no Basket. Ruizer kind of reminds me of Tepe. Just one of those characters that, like, you can't help but like. He's just a... Just a great guy. Has his flaws. Well, Chepe yeah, he does, yeah. I feel like Ruizard might become my favorite. Ooh! Okay, what? Did man get out of the binds? Did they just not bind his hand? What just happened? Did she just... Oh. Did Eddie's just cut his head off? Or was that Ruizard? Who just did that? Was it Ruizard? Whoa! Oh, and Eddie's was okay. Oh, yeah, that's probably... Yeah, Rudy's like, what the fuck, man? Because he heard a child. You know, I might have spoken a little bit too soon about Rudy. I might have maybe wanted to wait a minute. Because that's a little sketchy. I swore that was going to be Eris who did that, like, who killed him, because, yeah, like, she was pissed about just her coat from Ruby being ripped, so I I wouldn't put it past her killing this guy, but obviously she's okay with it, because she saw it, and she was just like, hmm, whatever, but, like, Rudy's here, like, what <laughs> the fuck, dude? I think Ruizer needs some therapy, too. Where's the therapist in Demon Town? He's evil. I don't think... Like, who's, who, who makes that choice, though, man? Like, he was a dick. He was a fucking dick. He just punched a child in the gut, like, super hard. Straight up killing him? Cutting his head off immediately for it? Should have at least listened to the guy first. Tried to get something out of him. Yeah. It's like you're not helping yourself here. Yeah. I don't understand. Just don't kill anybody. It's pretty easy to understand. Unless they're, like, attacking you, like, in a in a very deadly way. I know I did the right thing. Oh, he's stubborn. Yeah. It's like you can't be in the party if you just do that. Yeah, please. Just don't. Yeah, like, like I was just saying. Ruizer, he probably hasn't made friends in a long time, right? And by long time, I think, what, this man has been around for, like, hundreds of years? He's obviously going to be set in his ways. Yeah, like, it's a bit of an issue that he just wants to kill people over kind of small things like that. If he cares about Rudy and, like, and obviously Eddie's and their friendship, then he will try to hold back on that. And obviously he cares about the super reputation, like Rudy said. Yeah, I, I hope man can change that. It's just weird to kind of talk about. Like, I'm, I'm saying it as if he just, like, I don't know, as if he's just some toxic person. Like, oh, I hope he can change the way he is so that, like, we can be, we can all be friends, right? <laughs> but he's, he straight up just beheaded a dude. And it's just, I don't know. The guy was a dick, so at least it happened to the dickhead. The other friends, like, they seemed like they weren't so cool with what this guy wanted to do. We pretend, oh, they found a glitch in the system. Villains? Yo, that's not villains. Bro, you straight up killed a man. How are you not a villain? Like, I, I don't get his train of thought. <laughs> okay, so what? He's going to use them? Team up? I would, like, have them join the team? Oh, yeah. Yeah, suck it up, Richard. Yeah, it's like, 
out of all the things, like if they were kidnapping people or children or something like that, I could see why he would react like this. But and that's not to say pets aren't, you know, a big deal. I love pets. I, I, if, if someone kidnapped my cat, I'd be pretty fucking angry. But like, come on, they didn't kill them. They weren't killing them for sport or some shit. They were just they were returning them to the people. It was just a dick move more than being like a, a super villain. Yeah. Evil is evil. Yeah, like you murdered like that's the that's what I'm saying is like how how does he not classify himself as a villain? If just something as low as this is villainous to him, and this man has killed so many people. Yeah. I had a I had a girl. She's got she's got full faith in Rudy. Like they've been together for years, of course she does at this point. She, uh -huh. Okay, then stop being a jerk, dude. I can appreciate that Rudy kind of kept his cool during that whole thing. Honestly, I was expecting him when Rudy killed that guy. I expected Rudy to be like pissed about it. I thought he was going to start yelling, but he was. He kept cool. He's like, please, just don't do that again. And the whole time, it, it like maybe it wasn't him staying calm. Maybe it was him like just being terrified of Rudy. But that's what he told Rizur, and he's like, I don't want to be scared of you. Like, you are my, f I want you to be my friend, not someone who I'm just, like, only with because they're protecting me and they're actually, like, a jerk, a dickhead, a villain, in a way. So, I don't know, like, obviously Rizur, he has the, the the room to change. Like, he, he seems like he could definitely become a better dude. He's just, his judgment is way off. He's a stubborn son of a bitch. Oh. Damn. And he's using that fear. What is with this man? Oh. It figures they made the horse dude like just an asshole. Just a high and mighty <laughs> dick. No, that was good. That was a good episode though. It's nice that we're getting into like the whole Adventurers Guild thing. I didn't know that that's what like this show was going to be getting into because that's that's a very like Konosuba sort of thing like a, a very well I was going to say it's a trope I find that this show it uses the tropes well though because when you have an isekai it's like there's only so much you can do especially if it's going into like a fantasy world which has been done a million times before I'm okay with them using tropes like I have no issue with it it's just nice when they find sort of a way of implementing them without it being, like, without it feeling so overdone. Like, I, I think they're doing well with it so far because they are making it, like, more of a competition sort of thing. It, it gives me heavy vibes of, like, what's that one? Don Machi, Don Machi or whatever it's called. I think I reacted to a few episodes of that a few years ago where, like, they have to do these adventures and slay monsters in order to, like, rank up their killings. It's similar to that, and I really liked that part in, like, that show. So I'm glad they're kind of implementing that in here, but they're doing their own thing with it. And Rudy, he's smart enough to know how to kind of trick the system in a way of like, okay, we have these people under our thumb. We're going to take their jobs because they're a higher rank than us so that we can get the money from it. And no, it's just they're doing good with it. And, I, and it's kind of nice because it's almost like it's a tad bit dark in a way because Rudy, he like threatened them. But he almost had to, right? In order to survive, because he was saying how if they only did like F and E rank jobs, they're in the, like, they're, they are not making enough money. So he knows that they have to take money, and, or he knows that they have to make money. Like, he, he only cares for Richard and Eddie's, obviously Eddie's a little bit more, wants her to be okay. So he'll do what he has to. And if that means threatening these guys in order to get their jobs, in order to get more money, he's fine doing that because he knows it's kind of what needs to be done. Like I said, it's just a tad bit dark. It's not so dark that it's like, oh damn, Rudy's an ass, or like he can be an ass when he wants to, which he can, but he's not on the same level as like Rui Jird type of like hard-headedness sort of thing. The whole thing with Rui Jird, it was tense. It was a very tense situation because I was not expecting Rui Jird to straight up kill that man. I don't think anybody was just for, yeah, hitting a kid's 
kind of, you know, fucked up. And he was also kind of being a jerk to the animals, like kind of threatening them with killing them. So, like I said, of all the people for him to kill, that might have been like one of the one of the better ones, right? He was a bit of a stinker. But <laughs> at least Rudy talked to him. He said, no, like if you want to be in this party, if you want to be our friend, friend which Rudy probably wants right he's been he's a lonely dude you can tell that just the man was just wandering the desert by himself and just came across these two obviously this man's a bit of a loner he, it seems like he's having fun or he's at least enjoying himself a little bit going around finding you know or you know just hanging out with these dudes so he wants to keep with that and he wants to keep his promise of protecting them and getting them back to their city or whatever it's just he has a lot of work to do on himself on his I ideology because straight up thinking that like any act of like bad will is villainous is kind of rude and kind of hypocritical from the, coming from him like he it's just weird richard he has this weird thing where it seems like he doesn't think killing is like a bad thing and, and yet he's trying to like repair the super's reputation. And it's like, well, if he's been trying to repair the reputation for this long, but still killing all these people, like no shit people are scared of you. It almost makes me think that the whole thing with like Laplace controlling them uh, back during that war, that might just be the beginning of it. Like maybe a lot of the fear with, with Dead End and with Muser is from the fact that he kills people so easily when he's not even under control. Like, maybe that's your issue, man. Maybe you're just being stupid. It's it's kind of funny how I was saying how he seems like a, a likable dude, a just likable dude, just like Tepe from Kodoko. And then he immediately hit us with that. I still do believe that Rui Jard might become my favorite. Like, as long as he improves, I think I'm going to really enjoy his arc. If he improves himself, I'll respect it. Because... So far, we haven't seen him killing anybody who really doesn't deserve it. Like, that guy, I'll give him a pass. Because he, he, I feel like that guy didn't, like, go home and donate all his money to charity, go volunteer, <laughs> picking up litter on the side of the road or something. I, I feel like that man was a piece of work. So I, I can forgive him, Bruiser, for that one. Other than that, like, I'm excited to see kind of how else they improve. Like, I don't know if the whole thing is going to be them trying to get up to, like, a higher rank. Like, I don't know if the whole point of this is they're going to try to get to, like, a really high rank of Adventure Guild, like, thing like A rank or maybe S rank is the top one here. Maybe that'll be the case because they want to get home. So I don't know if they're just trying to make enough money to, like, survive on the road for a bit, probably. So I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued, though. I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what kind of adventures they get into here, especially now that they're taking, like, C rank ones, which are slay. I believe they said like slaying monsters sort of thing. So this could get interesting. It could get pretty interesting. And obviously having Ruizard around is going to make those slay jobs probably pretty like, easy. Like they might be making bank pretty quick now and maybe even like progressing even more. Well, it almost seems like backwards though, because if they're going to be doing, well, no, I guess as long as those other two keep doing the F rank jobs, then Dead End is going to start, you know, improving more, right? They're going to start getting up ranks and as long as we're not ranking up their name like the <laughs> the what what were they called p hunter or whatever was that the guy's name i don't know no i i feel like we're gonna rank up pretty high here quick so well like i said actually with those three characters we met before that were like they were saying they're gonna be famous that eddie's beat the chick's ass i don't know if they're gonna come back probably in a bit like i said they almost seem like i don't know like martyr characters or something like they're just gonna get wrecked during an adventure and maybe Rudy and them are going to witness it or something. I don't know. I could be way off. It's just after watching so many shows like this and seeing how kind of dark that they're not afraid to get in some scenes, it wouldn't surprise me, right? Like Rudy straight up, he's seeing all these murders and it's still, it's like scarring this man. He's like, he, he was just looking at, at a beheaded, well, head on the ground and he's just like, um, uh, it's like, man was just stunned. So seeing shit like that is going to really mess him up for sure. And obviously to do with that scene, it makes me think that Eddie's like, maybe it was just kind of a throwaway, like joke thing, her beating 
that lady's ass, but it also makes me think like maybe she has some anger problems that we might see more of in the future. Like maybe they're kind of leaning, leaning towards that a bit, but that could be, that, maybe not. Maybe that's just, they were just making a bit of a joke. Like, oh, she cares so much about the coat that Rudy bought her because, you know, she likes Rudy like that. So I don't know, uh, maybe not a big deal, but it, it, it is also concerning that she straight up went into beating a girl's ass just for her coat, like losing a button. It is dumb. But no, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on this series or any of my other series that I'm doing, like Kuroko in the Basket. You guys can comment down below your thoughts on the video, episode, whatever you want to say, just some spoilers, obviously. And I do have a Patreon link down in the description if you want early access to the videos. Plus, it just helps to support me a little bit more. And it's highly appreciated. So that's it. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.